Okay, we're taking a look at the Russ Innovations flak vest hanger. Uh, this is a pretty neat item. One of our editors was browsing online and found this. And uh, since we review quite a bit of armor and we know a lot of people that use armor, and we're out here in Arizona where we definitely get sweaty when we're wearing armor, um, this looked like a great idea. A lot of times uh, when you wear armor and you take it off, you got to let it dry because it gets pretty wet. It gets pretty sweaty when you're doing any kind of effort inside of it, even when you're just standing still here in Arizona. So what it does, it opens up, has a lot of holes in it, and allows you to, to wear your or to put your armor up to dry. It also lets you store it. Um, pretty handy little item. We talked to the to Steve Russ, the owner over there, and you know the creator of this, and he's a really great guy. Sent us out one to review. So let's take a look at it. It's going to come in a nice cardboard box. Comes in this plastic. It comes with uh, some materials to thank you for using it and um, where the concept came from. Um, if you have any questions, you talk to Russ right away. You don't talk to some uh, email address or anything. You just talk to Russ. So we're going to bust right into it here. First off, you know, first impressions is that it's nice and clean, made in America. That's always nice. And um, you know, packaged well. Not a lot of extra garbage. There's this one plastic bag. I could probably reuse it if I wanted to. And what we're looking at here is the hanger itself. Got some information about when it was made and the employee number. So if I guess if there is a problem, they can track it right down. Um, you've got the warranty info. You would fill this out with your name and whatnot so that they know you've got it. Um, pretty handy. Let's to know that the company stands behind their, their, their products. Gives you some care and use. Of course, like anything, if you don't read the instructions, you might not be using it right. So we went ahead and took a look at these instructions. And basically what they tell us is that you want your body armor to, to lay flat. So you want it to hang by the shoulder straps and then this bottom uh, shape piece goes in. It's adjustable for whatever size armor or type of armor you might be using. And it allows it to lay here as well as off the shoulders. The big issue there is like a comforter or a quilt. Uh, if those edges get curled, the inside layers start to curl and become ineffective. So what you're really looking for is to keep your armor as flat as possible, um, especially when it's drying, because it's important for the upkeep of the materials. Um, so basically that's what this is telling us. It's telling us that the, war the uh, hanger itself uh, is under a warranty. Um, very, again, it's very good paperwork, not a lot of it. Uh, not real fancy, glossy, you know, waste of money stuff. Uh, just, you know, what you need to have. So the way that this works, um, it basically sets up uh, for whatever size armor you might have. It can set on a floor, uh, it can set up on uh, out in the ground. We haven't had any trouble with it so far wherever you've tried it. Um, you've got these holes for air, but you've also got these square holes, and what they do is they allow this piece to go in. Again, depending on the model and size of the armor you're using, they just fit right in. Uh, they stay in pretty sturdy, I mean, they can come out but they're not just going to fall right out. The way they're set up, um, they're going to stay in place pretty decent. They sort of lock in um, when you've got them where you want them. Uh, so you'd put that on either side, and depending on the type of armor you're using, it's not always you know, equal on both sides, so it's nice that these are independently adjustable. These rubber bands are just for the packaging. That's pretty much all there is to the hanger itself. So now your armor is going to come down and hang on these bottom supports. It's also going to hang by its shoulders up here. The nice thing is you can carry it with the carry handle or uh, if it's going into a locker or storage, uh, you can hang it in the closet on this hook uh, without having to change anything really. Pretty so far, so far we've had them just a couple of weeks. Uh, we've used them quite a bit. We've done some reviews. You might see some reviews that we've done, uh, video reviews that we use them and they end up being pretty handy to sort of demonstrate the armor. Uh, so far we're really pleased. We're glad that we found them and we're glad that we were able to get our hands on one. Uh, highly recommend it. Well under $100 um, for the safety it provides, worth every penny. It's again, Russ Innovations and it's called a flak vest hanger. Okay, we're taking another look at the Russ Innovations Flak Vest holder. Uh, this time we've got a piece of armor on it. Now this isn't just a regular piece of armor, I'm a big guy. This is a 3XL uh, size concealable armor um, from Safari Land. And you can see that it's still holding very well in the holder. Uh, its shoulders are up here, holding most of the weight. Um, it is hitting just where it's supposed to at the bottom area here, at the lowest setting. So again, 3XL, 
not going to see this too often. Most guys are a lot smaller than that, a lot shorter torsos that means. And uh, even at this large size, it's working just fine. It would dry this armor out in no time. Uh, again, the feature of being able to flip this up and hang it in a locker, real easy to do. Now you can see with the armor installed that, um, you know, he was thinking when he built this that there's some catches on the, on the edges here so that the shoulders don't just slip off. It's not such a big deal with a vest when you're dealing with just a plate carrier. Um, it, you know, those shoulders are a lot uh, floppier, so sometimes they'll slide right off the edges. Uh, great idea. So far it's working great for us. Hope this is doing justice for showing you what a great piece of, really I'm going to call it safety gear, this is. Uh, so Russ innovations and you can take a look for his link over on our description of the video.